position. Out by the Russian center. Thirteen years ago, two humanitarian scientists in Europe invented golden rice, which contains beta carotene, the same stuff that's in carrots and in corn, that's what makes corn yellow, and in sweet potatoes, for example. We all get enough beta carotene in our diet here in the West, so there is not a vitamin A problem. But 250 million preschool children in the rice-eating cultures, 70% of the people in the world who are in poverty eat rice as their main staple. 250 million preschool kids are deficient in vitamin A. Golden rice is the answer. Yet Greenpeace says, oh no, we must not have golden rice because they use genetic science to produce it. Yes, these two scientists in Europe, humanitarians, knew how to do this and take the genes from corn and put it in rice to make golden rice. Greenpeace says these people shouldn't eat golden rice, that they should, they should get more balanced diets and that they should take vitamin pills. These people don't have the money for that. If they, if they had other ways to get the vitamin A, they would do it. And this is the answer, yet Greenpeace opposes it. Since Greenpeace started their campaign against golden rice, eight million children have died unnecessarily because golden rice will cure vitamin A deficiency. It's been proven in peer-reviewed journals. What does Greenpeace do? They trash the scientists. It's been proven in field trials. What does Greenpeace do? They go in and destroy the rice plants that the scientists are growing in the field trials and then complain there hasn't been enough testing. As soon as someone does some testing, then they destroy it or trash the people who are doing it. So please help us in allowing golden rice now. When you finish your tour, if you want to come back and get a brochure and go to our website, which is very well documented, then please do that because we need your support. Thank you very much. Green, please say twice. Allow golden rice. Currently available genetically modified crops have been judged to be safe to eat. The American Medical Association, quote, bioengineered foods have been consumed for close to 20 years, and during that time, no consequences on human health have been reported. No GMO. Pardon me? You're, you're being a zero-tolerance fanatic if you say that. I am being Surely there could be. a person who no. believes in not opening the door to... And, and look at me. Opening the door to, to what? Not opening the door to science run amok. We are actually all genetically celiac. modified. <laughs> Every one of us is a random there mixture of our millions, mother's and father's genes. Millions. That's why we look different than they are, because we're modified genetically. And they've turned this term genetically modified into a propaganda word when it's just simply a fact that all life is being genetically modified all the time through breeding. And conventional breeding in agriculture also modifies the genetics of the plants. When corn was first wild, it was a little thing about an inch long. And since then, they have modified it through breeding to make it into the corn we eat today. So using genetically modified as a negative word because they say Frankenstein food and killer tomato and terminator seed, and they say it's toxic when in fact the only health effect of golden rice will be to improve the health of 250 million children who are deficient in vitamin A because they're in poverty in rice eating cultures. It's just a fact of life today in this world. We don't know about it because we live here in this privileged part of the world where we don't use rice as our main staple and we don't have millions of people in poverty like they do in Asia and Africa in urban slums. I was, I've, in the last year I've been to both Mumbai and Delhi. And believe me, if you go to Mumbai, you will think you're on a different planet where people didn't get quite such a good break as they did in this side of the world. There's millions of people living in abject poverty and millions of people dying from various diseases and, and nutrient deficiencies. 
Vitamin A is the worst nutrient deficiency in the world, and all we're doing is saying to Greenpeace, okay, if you're against GMOs, be against GMOs, but at least make one humanitarian exception for this crop, golden rice, which scientists around the world have been working on for 13 years and unable to get it licensed because Greenpeace plays politics with it, it goes to the legal system. Yeah, well, you don't care about two million dead children either, I suppose. GMO are bad. Horrible. Bad and horrible. Is that a scientific argument? You know what? The rice that, that has taken over already, the rice that these people are eating, is probably already genetically modified. That's why there's no nutrition in it. There is no genetically modified rice except in China where they have approved it for insect resistant rice because they don't want all their rice to be eaten by bugs. That's and why they approved it. how much profit did they make out of that one? It's the Billions. Chinese system. Billions of dollars. Good job. No, no, there is no genetically modified rice except for in China where they have approved it at the government level because it's better than the conventional rice at resisting insect pests. And that way they don't have to spray as much pesticide on the rice plants because the rice itself is resistant to the insect. But that's a different issue. We're talking about golden rice, which is a health issue. Pete Greenpeace says there could be health issues with golden rice. Yeah, a lot of more healthy children will be what happens if they're allowed to have golden rice. There's nothing different about it except the beta carotene it contains, which we make into vitamin A in our bodies. It is an essential nutrient, and these people are dying by the millions because they don't have this essential nutrient in their diet. Thank you. So I'm Yossi Kadan and I'm the campaign's director of Greenpeace Canada. Now, uh, I was here a couple of days ago and a chap named Pat Moore, who's a past president of Greenpeace, was basically uh, stating that you have become uh, an organization that's committing crimes against humanity by uh, not uh, backing the uh, sale of uh, golden um, rice. Can you tell us why he's saying that and uh, what your position is on it? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, crime against humanity, I'm not sure where he's taking that from. But um, we are uh, opposing the introduction of uh, golden rice or commercializing uh, golden rice for uh, many reasons. I mean, like, first you have to understand uh, uh, the people who are proponent of golden rice propose that uh, as a solution to, um, to uh, solve the uh, vitamin A deficiencies in, in you know, in poor countries, in, in poor nations, that they, uh, you know, it, it is an acute problem. Uh, the one thing that the golden rice is failed to understand, or the proponent of the golden rice failed to understand, that the source of the problem of the vitamin A deficiency um, and other nutrition deficiencies are not, um, you know, sort of, uh, can, can, cannot be resolved in so, some sort of uh, technological magic like golden rice. It's a political problem. It's a political problem that caused by poverty mainly. Uh, these, the same people that have vitamin A deficiency have many other deficiencies because they have no, not enough nutrition. They don't have enough food uh, to feed themselves. So. So, um, you know, trying to resolve a political problem with a, with a technological sort of magic, it's, it's not going to work. And we do have to address the issue uh, of malnutrition in, in, in that part of the world. Um, and to resolve that, you can't, really, um, you can't really focus on just one staple and say that will solve the issue. I mean, like you have to look at the, at the various aspects of how you actually feed these people and what type of program you create for these people that they will be able to uh, have the, uh, the nutrition that they need from various uh, foods. And there are other projects and other solutions like, uh, that were introduced in other parts of the world, like Bangladesh 20 years ago. Uh, which, uh, which a lot of money was spent in a program that called home gardening, which is basically you know encourage people and teach uh, the people out there um, how to grow their own sort of uh, uh, vegetables and food 
and part of their food in their backyard and at the same time supply them with vitamin A pills in order to, uh, to address some of the acute issues of uh, vitamin A deficiency. In about 20 years from the, uh, from the establishment of this program, things have changed dramatically and the, the problem that was there in this region does not exist anymore. So again, I mean, like, as I said, I mean, like, the, the issue is not about introducing one staple which will be magical, will solve everything because that's not, that's not how it works. It's by introducing long-term sustainable, uh, sustainable programs uh, and, and, and you know, tackle the issue of poverty in this part of the world that will resolve this issue and many other issues of nutrition. Okay, now what about just in case it works now, why not doing it? And then also, isn't the GMO uh, a bigger issue than just golden milk? For sure. Um, so with the GMO, I mean, like I, I talk about the problem itself, but um, you know, let's just talk about GMO, uh, and let's talk about GMO in particular, uh, in particular also in golden rice. GMO um, is there is no uh, research in the world uh, up until now that actually check whether GMOs. Um, different type of GMOs, but let's speak about golden rice, that it's safe to people to consume. Um, and, um, you know, uh, the scientists will say that there was no research that proved that if you consume it, you will be, you, you will be a sort of damage or, um, or it will cause some, some impact. But we always say that before we give people anything to eat, to consume, especially in, in large quantities, you have to you may, you have to make sure that it's not going to uh, to harm them in any shape or form, and that means like um, you know if allergies and other uh, aspects of of health that it can cause, and we don't have any idea whether it's safe or not. As I said, there is no research in the world that actually uh, address that. There was an attempt to do a research in China actually a year ago, or a bit more than a year ago when we uh, when we exposed that. Uh, when the University of Tuff um, in combination a, a US university and, and a Chinese university tried to feed 25 ki children with uh, golden rice. Uh, apparently they did that without consent and without the, without, so the people that actually ate golden rice have no clue what they're eating. Uh, and, that, uh, and the Chinese government uh, put a stop to this research and also US institutions say that it was unethical research uh, and it's not valid. So, as I said, uh, there is no proof that it's safe for eating. Uh, at the same time, it will create huge amount of uh, problem because uh, GMOs uh, and GE rice also, golden rice, can uh, crossbreed with, uh, with other species of rice. And we have that in, in uh, we have that in corn in many places, so you'll have a situ you can have a situation. Although in rice, cross pollination is not so common, but seeds can can mix, and there there are a few cases of uh, also cross pollination. So you you have you actually risk the rice that you currently have. All the type of rice that you grow in other places of the world, they can be easily contaminated, and that's I would say that uh, that's uh, you know uh, ecological cat catastrophe basically to all the species of rice or all the rice that we currently eat that may be contaminated and will become uh, a GE rice. He had one last. Uh, I mean, like. I, you know, we all are genes, and and that's true. I mean, like, but uh, but we never manipulate. I mean, like, you know, a sort of in in a laboratory, our ge genome uh, to do this this thing or never, or to be resistant to uh, you know to this chemical or another chemical, which you know, uh, which what people do today in in laboratory and scientists do today. So um, the evolution of the genome. Uh, was like that that evolved you know upon many years and uh, and there was sort of uh, there was a time for adaptation and time for change which is not uh, obviously is not happening with uh, with GE rice so um, I mean like it's you know to say that we all genes oh it's it's a sort of it's um, you know it takes the the conversation to a place that it's not need to be I mean like it's not sort of really an argument um, it is a modification of GMO and Greenpeace 
uh, have a clear opinion about crossbreeding. So we and we support crossbreeding, not with genes, uh, to take different species and to and to you know bring them together and to try to. Uh, uh, to develop some type of a new, uh, uh, a new or better uh, fruit or vegetables and things like that have done in the world. By the way, actually, also for beta carotene that uh, uh, that basically um, turn into vitamin A in, in people's body uh, after consumed. So uh, again, uh, we have no problem with uh, traditional and, and crossbreeding with with species we have a problem when when you go into the genes and actually uh, modify them without without having any idea how it will affect uh, the people that eat it and the environment